Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. Just a quick one for you today. We are taking a look at the newly released public beta version of Rekordbox DJ from Pioneer DJ. Let's get into it. Pioneer DJ have just opened up the testing of this new version of their Rekordbox DJ software 5.6.1 to the public. The application continues to grow at a pretty remarkable pace, especially when you consider that the performance side of it was only first released in 2015, making it by far the youngest of the big players. In 5.6.1 there is the usual raft of bug fixes and such like, but the big new feature is the introduction of two streaming services, Beatport Link and SoundCloud Go Plus. Pioneer DJ recently debuted streaming in their Wii DJ mobile app, but the flagship pro application Rekordbox hasn't featured any kind of streaming option since the ill-fated Pulse Locker. Now, when it comes to streaming services, I'm going to have to start keeping my opinions to myself from this point forward. At DJ City, we are heavily involved with Beatport, as we're partnering with them to offer our forthcoming BeatSource service, which means it's going to be very hard for me to comment on other services, as we have some skin in the game. So when it comes to SoundCloud Go Plus, you can get a free trial, test it out for yourself. It's already in Serato DJ Pro, so you don't need to have Rekordbox to try it. My big concern there is with the underlying quality of having user-generated content. Have things been tagged properly? What was the original bitrate of the upload and that kind of stuff? For those reasons, I've generally stuck to Tidal when using streaming in Serato DJ Pro, although SoundCloud Go Plus certainly works fine on a technical level. Beatport Link is a somewhat unique alternative to all the other services out there. Although it has over 6 million tracks, they are very much based on the traditional Beatport library, meaning it's skewed towards house, techno and other electronic sounds. Therefore, it won't be for everyone, but if that kind of music is your bag, that more focused offering might well prove to be an advantage. Integration of both services in the Rekordbox DJ Beta is pretty straightforward. There are new tabs in the library panel where you can log in and then access your account. Once that's done with Beatport Link, you have a Tracks tab, a Playlist tab which brings your playlist over from the Beatport site, and tabs for each of the genres they offer. There's no question that the integration is still in a pretty early phase right now. For example, search isn't quite working yet, and the only way to add tracks to a playlist on the Beatport site is via the playlist page, but that's all in development. But crucially, the underlying technology works, and there is one other big feature which is unique to Beatport Link, the offline storage locker. By paying a bit extra over the standard Link subscription, you can get Link Pro, which allows you to download and store 50 tracks, and Pro Plus, which ups that to 100. It also increases the streaming quality to higher than 320 kbps mp3s. The offline stuff is also very simple to use. You highlight the track you want to store offline and either hit the download button or right click and select store offline. Those tracks will then be downloaded to your machine and will be accessible even when you're not connected to the internet. The good news is that even without the premium subscriptions and with SoundCloud Go Plus, any streaming tracks you add to your library in Rekordbox DJ will have their analysis metadata saved in the software, so that slower live analysis this only happens once. Again, this will be familiar to users of streaming in Serato DJ Pro. To access the public beta and try this stuff out for yourself, you need to head over to the Pioneer DJ Forum, where you can download the latest beta version. Both SoundCloud and Beatport offer 30-day trials of their streaming services, and you can choose whichever tier you want with Beatport Link. So there we go, a first look at the new public beta of Rekordbox DJ. Now, two more things to mention. Firstly, as always, the caveat supply. This is a public beta version. It's not a full release. It's in the testing phase. So don't be installing this and going out and DJing important gigs with it. That's not what it's for. Stick to released versions for that. This is for messing around at home, testing, giving feedback to Pioneer DJ, etc. Don't be relying on a beta version really ever, if you can possibly help it. The second thing to note is that the beta has been out for a few days now. There is still no sign at the time of making this video of a Windows version being available. It's only for OS X right now, but of course that won't be the case for long because Rekordbox DJ is a cross-platform application. So if you're a Windows user for DJing like myself, you will need to hold on probably for a few more days. But if you're a Mac user, go ahead, download, start messing around, testing it out, you can do that right now. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you subscribe and you hit that bell icon down below to get notified anytime there's a new video from myself or the rest of the DJ City team. I'll see you soon.